But some people living on Staten Island are sounding off against shelters from migrant families in the borough. CBS 2's Ali Bauman with more tonight on the concerns that were raised. Migrant families seeking asylum spent Tuesday night divvying up donations outside the Holiday Inn Express on Staten Island, one of two hotels in the Travis neighborhood where the city is now temporarily housing migrants. We are getting eight, nine, ten buses a day. Hundreds of individuals, um, you know, children with nothing but the clothes on their backs who are coming into Port Authority. Since April, more than 19,000 people seeking shelter have come into New York City, with our shelter system seeing a 30% increase in six months. Along with the massive tents being built on Randall's Island, the city has opened 48 emergency sites to house people, including these Staten Island hotels. This is a citywide crisis, and all of us are going to be impacted. And Staten Island is going to be impacted like the other four boroughs. In a virtual meeting Tuesday, Staten Island politicians bemoaned the situation. It's having an effect on uh, the, the sense of security that folks in the neighborhood have. The mayor has to call on President Biden to reinstate the policies that were working under President Trump that he dismantled. The community board chair read questions from residents, some about the next steps. What is the long-term plan for this program? But most questions were about safety. How will you guarantee the safety and quality of life for tax-paying homeowners, renters, and shop owners in the community? The city has 24-hour security at its shelter sites, looking both inward and outward. But social workers want to remind residents that the majority of migrants who have come into this city are families with young children. The data shows that they are more like, much more likely to be victims of crime. We are not talking about danger or that crime will go up in these neighborhoods. We're talking about the fact that the city of New York does not have the resource and capability to be able to help these people. The shelters are temporary, but the city says it's possible they may have to expand to more sites if they reach capacity. In the Travis section of Staten Island, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.